Hi, I'm Kevin Eikenberry, and I'm here to help you reach your potential as a leader and a human being. Welcome to Remarkable TV. Today, we're talking about one thing. Yes, just one thing you can do to help overcome any conflict. Are you ready? Let's get started. Conflict is hard. Conflict is difficult. So for me to say, isn't it presumptuous to say that I'm going to give you one key to overcoming conflict situations? Well, I'm going to give you one really important key. Actually, I'm going to get help today from my friend and colleague Guy Harris. Because Guy has a very valuable and clever way of saying this. But So I'm going to ask him to share his thought and then dive into it a little bit more. So Guy, if I said, what's one thing that you could do to overcome uh, a conflict situation, what would that one thing be? Well, the most powerful thing I can think of is to assume benign intent. So what do you mean by that? You and I are in conflict, mm -hmm. and you're thinking about what I did that's led mm -hmm. to this conflict. So what, do you, what does that mean that you need to do? So the, the key behind assuming benign intent is really to keep yourself under control so you don't get sucked into getting angry with the other person and having your emotions escalate so you don't think clearly. So assume benign intent means that when I look at something you've said, done, behavior you've taken in a meeting, tone you used, whatever it is, then I'm going to assume that it's either directed towards me, which I would call malicious intent, or it's not directed towards me, I would call benign intent. It just happens to be what you did. It wasn't personal. And so if I realize that either way is an assumption, then if I assume the negative, I probably get irritated and I respond in a way that probably gets you irritated. If I assume benign intent, like I heard it as an attack, maybe he didn't mean it as an attack, then it sets me up to respond in better ways so that I can then find out what you really did mean rather, rather than making an assumption. So it could end up being that I was being malicious, Absolutely. but you're going to figure that out at some point anyway, right? Right. right, right. So the thing that, you know, to take that one step further, the thing that I like to do a lot of times is, you know, this situation happened. Mm -hmm. What are all the reasons why it might have happened? What are all the, what might have been behind Guy's behavior? Mm -hmm. And usually I can come up with a negative one. Oh, yeah. A yeah. malicious one or two. And I can come up with multiple other reasons if I'll step back enough to do that. So mm -hmm. I think there's two things in this. Number one is your point, assuming benign intent, that it doesn't necessarily mean the other person was trying to oh, right. tick me off, make me angry, push mm -hmm. my buttons. Mm -hmm. And by if I'm willing to take that advice and think about that, that means I have to step back. And if I step back to think about it, I probably already am better off than just immediately flying to the negative assumption. Mm -hmm. is Which that, is the negative one is often the easy one to make. Well, and, and that's and the, the one that and, escalates. And, the, and it escalates. And the, the, the positive one probably does require you to back up just a little bit and think, is there another way to explain this? And then you're, you're way ahead just by taking that step. You know, we were talking about this a little bit ago and uh, before we shot this, and you said you've had people in a workshop say, well, wait a minute, there's times when I know, like they're carrying around a club, they're going to oh, hit no. it. So, <laughs> That's it is, yeah, so say a little bit more about that. No, so if it's clearly they've got a weapon and they're running down the street towards me, I'm not going to assume benign intent. I'm going to take protective action. It's just that's not where most of us find ourselves in business settings. We're in a meeting and someone says something that we hear a little aggressive or off color. Someone uh, withhold or doesn't send a report to us or we don't get a report and we interpret as they withheld it or they didn't send it. And it's those assumptions about what people intended to do or didn't intend to do that turn into negative interpretations. And that's the context. It's in the workplace where most of us find ourselves, and what we're talking about here, it's pretty safe to assume benign intent and deal with it if we find out otherwise. So it might not be surprising where we're going to close today with mm -hmm. today's tweet. Today's tweet is going to summarize what we've just been talking about. Today's tweet is, to overcome conflict, listen to Recover Engineer and assume benign intent. Conflict is hard, but you already know that. The reason I had Guy join me today is because he is a true certified expert in conflict resolution. But we all know that we want more than just resolution. We want to be able to resolve conflict with confidence, which is why Guy has created the workshop, Conflict Confidence. In this two-day workshop, Guy can help you overcome your challenges, provide you with hundreds of practical strategies and get you to the place where you can resolve conflict successfully and confidently. I hope that you will want to join Guy for an upcoming workshop where he will lead you through this ex experiential learning experience. You can learn more about 
joining us in a future workshop or having Guy come on site to work with you by clicking on the links below.